Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When purchasing a fixed asset, attribute any amounts spent or borrowed to buy the fixed asset, either directly to the fixed asset account or to its original costs of account if you use subaccounts for asset value tracking. For example, if you took out a loan to buy a fixed asset and use an original cost subaccount, then assign the value of the loan to the original costs of account for the fixed asset when entering the original amount of the loan into the associated long-term liability account register. Alternatively, you could also create a journal entry to set the initial balance for both the accounts. This works well to record funds given directly to a vendor by a lender on your behalf, as the money never actually enters your checking account. However, if you actually received money from a loan that you later used to purchase a fixed asset, you can record the deposit of the funds into the checking account from the loan and attribute the funds received to the correct long-term liability account at that time to set the value of the long-term liability account and the deposit into the checking account. Later, when you write the check from your checking account to purchase the fixed asset, attribute the check's amount to the correct primary fixed asset or original cost subaccount for the fixed asset account as needed, within the Checks Category Details section. Doing this then sets the original cost for the fixed asset. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.